Hello my darlings. Last week we shared a fabulous book, The Lost Acorns, by Nick Butterworth. And today we've got a new story by Nick Butterworth. He must have been very busy because he's written a different book called Jasper's Beanstalk. We know somebody else who had a beanstalk. Jack had a beanstalk, didn't he? Let's find out whether Jasper's beanstalk is a magical beanstalk as well. Now, Nick Butterworth had a little help on this book. He had another fantastic author, Mick Inkpen. Isn't that a perfect name for an author, Inkpen? Because that's what you have in your pen to draw and write. I think that's wonderful. So, Jasper's Beanstalk by Nick Butterworth and Mick Inkpen. Got a little friend. On Monday, Jasper found a bean. It's a very nice bean, isn't it? I like the black speckles on it. I think it might be a runner bean. On Tuesday, he planted it. There he is with his trowel, digging a nice hole there, popping it in. On Wednesday, he watered it. He has a watering can. And the tap over there. On Thursday, he dug and raked and sprayed and hoed it. The hoe chops the soil or chops the edges off your grass. On Friday night, he snuck outside and picked up all of the slugs and snails. Slugs and snails like to eat growing in the garden, especially lettuces and strawberries. So it's a good idea so they don't eat his beans. On Saturday, he even mowed it. Do you think mowing that's a good idea? He's chopped up his stick, look, his bamboo cane, which shows him where it is. So I hope he doesn't lose it. We've had that before, haven't we, with the squirrels? On Sunday, Jasper waited and waited and waited. Oh dear, he's starting to look a little bit sad now, isn't he? His whiskers are turning down. When Monday came around again, he dug it up. I think he must be feeling a little bit impatient. He doesn't want to wait for it to grow, does he? He thinks it should have grown now. That bean will never make a beanstalk, said Jasper. Oh dear, he looks a bit sad about that, doesn't he? But a long, long, long time later, <gasps> it did! It was a Thursday, I think. And just look at what Jasper is reading. Jack and the Beanstalk. And his Robin friends pointing out of the window saying, look, look, you've got a beanstalk outside your window. Now, Jasper is looking for giants. <gasps> there he is, off up the beanstalk. Do you think he'll find any giants at the top of his beanstalk? I wonder whether it's the same magical land at the top of the beanstalk as it is in Jack and the Beanstalk. Could be a different one. Could be a completely different magical land made of sweets with marshmallows on the trees and fish which run across the grass. 